Recent changes to the timing of the seasons have had broad biological consequences because organisms respond more to seasons than to temperatures directly. On average, spring events, arrival of time of migrant species, peak flight dates, bud burst, nesting, egg laying, and flowering occur an average of 2.3 to 5.1 days earlier each decade. Autumn events, leaf fall, departure times of migrant species, and hibernation are delayed by 0.3 to 1.6 days per decade. Daytime maximum temperatures also play a role. To escape the heat and drought at mid-latitudes and take advantage of expanded growing seasons at higher altitudes and higher latitudes, species have migrated to 6 meters higher in elevation and 6 kilometers closer to the poles each decade. Migration of organisms to higher altitudes and latitudes and loss of snowpack or ice caps endangers a number of alpine and arctic species. These include several charismatic megafauna. Most familiar are polar bears and baleen whales. Let's take a look at each of these species. The polar bear is one of the world's largest carnivores. It inhabits the ice-covered waters of the circumpolar arctic, particularly annual ice over the continental shelf, where biological productivity is highest. For most of the year, polar bears hunt seals from sea ice. Bears optimize foraging by staking out seal breathing holes and haul-out sites. Rarely do they capture seals in open water. During ice-free periods, females swim to shore from the southern edge of the ice pack and give birth on land in dens. Recession of the Arctic ice cap from warmer Arctic temperatures have extended the distance between denning and feeding sites. This increases the vulnerability of mothers and cubs. Polar bears, when on land, mostly scavenge along the shore for alternative foods. A longer ice-free period means more time on land and intensified competition for alternative foods. Because females are walking and swimming longer distances and spending more time on land, their body weights are decreasing. If this trend continues, the average weight of females during the next 20 to 30 years in western Hudson Bay will drop below 190 kilograms. Females weighing less than 190 kilograms seldom bear cubs. A longer time on land also increases encounters between polar bears and humans. Such encounters usually mean bad news for the bears. If they damage property or threaten human safety, as they often do when scavenging for food, they are likely to be shot. Despite widespread interest about the plight of polar bears, Information about their numbers is meager. Estimates of population sizes in any region are based on one or at most two scientifically conducted censuses. Baleen whales are a prominent group of sea mammals composed of 14 species. These range in size from the blue whale, the largest animal ever found on Earth at 33 meters in length and 116 metric tons, to the pygmy right whale, which extends only 4 to 6 meters in length and weighs a mere 3 to 3.5 metric tons. Other species include the Atlantic northern right whale, <laughs> 18 meters in length and 100 metric tons, and the humpback whale, 12 to 16 meters in length and 36 metric tons. These behemoths, although impressive in stature, lack teeth. Instead, they filter feed through fine comb structures called baling. To filter feed, a will engulfs large volumes of seawater, closes its mouth, creates internal pressure by raising its tongue to the top of the palate, pushes the water out through the slots in the baling, traps small aquatic animals, especially krill, against the baling, and swallows the trapped animals. <laughs> 